What's going on here at the family? I go by here after Uz. The video we'll be watching today is called They Killed Musab Ibn Umar with 70 cuts and wounds. Extremely emotional. But before we take off, off man, bring it back, hit that like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notifications. I'm here for you, you're here for me. This channel is not only about increasing my iman and deen, but it's also to increase your iman and deen, which means faith and religion. So we're not gonna waste no time, let's just jump right into it. In the battle of Bahrain, we find the greatest sacrifice that he made, because his life was littered with sacrifices. It was sprinkled with sacrifices. Everywhere you look in his life, he had given something up. Which shows us that it's not just going to be one time. It's going to have to be a personality disposition. So he's in Uhud, and for those of you who do know or don't know, Uhud was a time that was very difficult for the believers. Because they, the archers, the young archers, had not listened to the Prophet Muhammad when he told them, do not chase this war, spoils, money, don't come after it. He said, I need you to stay up on top of this mountain. And it, no matter what's happening, if you see the birds eating our bodies, don't come off of this mountain. You are our last protection. And in Uhud, it looked like the believers had won. At one point, it looked like the Muslims had triumphed, had succeeded. And all of a sudden, these archers saw all the believers going and chasing these spoils of war, this money, all the armor and the gold and everything. And they became incensed with the love of wealth. They wanted it. They wanted to get part of that. They wanted everything that Musa bin Umair had left behind. And at this point, this is when all damage broke. Hey guys, feel free to go in the comment section. Let me know. Let me know some more details about this story because like this story is very interesting. We're gonna jump right back into it. Adib bin Walid, who was not Muslim at the time, he led a, a resurgence, a second attack around the back of the mountain. And the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, was attacked to the point where his helmet dug into his cheeks. And there were companions that had to jump in front of the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, to take arrows that were flying at him. And there were even rumors swirling in the battle that the Prophet Muhammad had died. And Musa bin Omer, he sees this happening. And he has the... See in life, you have to fight. Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was fighting. He was fighting. So you gotta fight in life. Whatever you want in life, you can get it. You just gotta fight for it. You gotta work hard for it. But let's get back into the video. Flag that has the kalima on it to represent the side of the believers. He has that in his hands, and he sees the Prophet ﷺ is being attacked. So he starts yelling, takbir, and he starts calling out these chants to draw the attention away from the army that's attacking the Prophet Muhammad ﷺ, and he takes his horse, and he rides as fast as he can, and he curves to take the army away from the Prophet Muhammad ﷺ. And it works, the plan that he has, it works because they draw away from the attacking the Prophet Muhammad ﷺ, but now they know, and he knows, that he's gone. In that moment, he had to make a split decision. Who do I love more? Myself or the Messenger of Allah? You know, the decisions that we don't we have to make, they don't demand us to give our life. Hmm. We're not sitting in a battlefield saying, who do I love more, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi or myself? Hmm. We're sitting in bed at Fajr time. Who do I love more, Allah and His Messenger or myself? We're sitting at work when we know that there's decisions that might be unethical. We're sitting and watching something that might be destroying our heart. Material on the television or on the computer that might be eating us alive. And the question we have to ask ourselves, we don't have to go and throw our bodies into the battlefield. We don't have to do that. We just have to say at this moment, who do I love more? Allah's messenger or my own self? And the Prophet Muhammad said, none of you will believe until I, I am more beloved to them than their own selves. So Musa bin Omer, he runs and he takes his horse and he knows that this is it. He knows that he's going to be trampled. He knows that he's running into an army where he is one and there's 70, 80, 90 people about to attack him. But he wants to make sure that he holds that flag of Islam high. And so one person on the other side of the side of the Quraysh, he targets the hand that he sees because this is a, a symbol of strength. The flag being up in the air is a symbol of strength that the Muslims are still strong. So he takes his sword and he takes the arm that's holding the flag and he cuts that arm and he chops it off. 
and Musa bin Omer, before the flag can even tumble to the ground, he drops his sword from his other hand and grabs the flag and keeps it in the air and says, وَمَا مُحَمَّدٌ إِلَّا رَسُولٌ قَدْ خَلَتْ مِنْ قَبْلِهِ الرُّسُلُ He says that Muhammad is but a messenger. Other messengers before him were also killed. And the same man who cut his right arm then cuts his left. So the flag begins to fall and he grabs it now with whatever he has left of his arms and holds it to his chest. And he says, وَمَا مُحَمَّدٌ إِلَّا رَسُولٌ قَدْ خَلَتْ مِنْ قَبْلِهِ الرُّسُلُ He says that Muhammad is but a messenger and other messengers were killed before him. And then he gets swarmed by the rest of the people. And they said that at the time of his death, there were over 70 sword and speared wounds on his body. That was the answer to his question, who do I love more? Allah's messenger or myself? And then afterwards, afterwards, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala honored what was in his heart. And he put this ayah in Surah Ali Imran in the description of the battle of Muhammad. You find this ayah, وَمَا مُحَمَّدٌ إِلَّا رَسُولٌ قَدْ خَلَتْ مِنْ قَبْلِهِ الرُّسُولٌ Muhammad is nothing except a messenger. Messengers came before him too. If in case he died, or if he got killed, are you going to turn back on your heels? The one who turns back on his heels, he could not harm Allah in anything. And Allah will soon reward the shakirin, those who are grateful. When Muhammad Rasulullah looked at the body of Ramayn, you know the, the shuhada were being given salams on the battlefield. These young men were give, being given salams by the, the, because the Prophet had instructed us, even to this day, that we're supposed to say salam on the shuhada. For they respond to the salams according to the hadith of Rasulullah So the, the, the Sahaba that survived the battle, they're going around giving salams to the shuhada. They got to the body of Musa bin Ramayn and all of them started crying. Ever when Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam saw his body, you know what he said? He said, فَمِنْهُمْ مِنَ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ رِجَالٌ صَدَقُوا مَا عَاهَدُ اللَّهَ عَلَيْهِ You know, from, this is an ayah of the Qur'an that he recited when he looked at him. You know, we can recite these ayahs. But when these ayahs were recited by Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, it was something else. He said, from among the believers are real men that have already confirmed their covenant that it was made with them, that Allah had made with them. See, Musab ibn Umar, he believed in Allah so much, he was fighting for something greater. He was fighting for something greater to the point where he believed in religion so much, he got 70 stab wounds. So guys, we got to really pick up and see this example. Are we, are we laying in bed for Fajr? Are we, are we not making our prayers on time? Let, let's just keep watching. And from among them are those who have given their due. And from among them are those who are still waiting to give their due. And they would not re replace their desire to give their due, to give their whole life to Allah with anything else. They would not replace it for anything. This is the ayah of Muhammad recited upon the body of Muslim. And then the Prophet and the companions after the battle was over, he came to bury the Muslimin, the Mujahideen, the Shuhada. And then when they looked, at Mus'ab ibn Umayr, they searched through his wealth and he did not find anything with his wealth to cover him. All they could find in his house was a piece of cloth to wrap him up in, the kafan. And when they would cover his head, his feet would show. And when they would cover his feet, his head would show. And Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, Wallahi, there was a time when I did not know a person who had a more luxurious life than this man. And today, out of his love of Allah and Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and this deen of his, he has sacrificed in a way that he has nothing to even cover his body after he has been martyred. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Bakhim bakh ya Mus'ab ibn Umayr. Oh Mus'ab ibn Umayr. We did not find anything of the wealth just to cover your whole body and bury you in. You donated it all for those who were in need. So, Musa was wealthy. He was wealthy and donated all of his wealth. And he couldn't even find a single cloth to cover his body for the sake of Islam, guys. This is really beautiful. This is really beautiful. In Jannah is where we shall meet. As for those al A'la, my dear brothers and sisters. You heard it, you heard it. In Jannah is where we shall meet. And I pray that all the Hereafter family members, not only the Hereafter family, 
all the Muslims in this Ummah, we can meet in Jannah, right? Um, Musab Ibn Omar, man, I learned something good today, man. Shout out to Shuri Park for sending me this video, man. Day one loyal subscriber, I appreciate you, man. Man, I'm feeling so blessed right now. So happy that I learned about this story, guys. I hope you guys really enjoyed this story, man. And uh, let me know some more stuff about Musab Ibn Umar. If you made it this far in the video, shout out to you. You're very loyal. Um, I'll see you guys tomorrow, man. Inshallah. Put your videos in the comment section. You know I'll react to it. I'll give my best to react to it. Make sure the videos are good. I, lo I love watching videos like this. And I love watching videos that increase not only my mind and Dean, but also your mind and Dean. So join the here at the fam. <clears throat> so join the here at the fam. I'll talk to you guys. You guys be safe. May Allah guide you guys on the right path. May he keep all evil temptations of shaitan away from you. May he keep. May he please keep you striving and focused and motivated, and so you can get to your goals. Assalamu alaikum. Peace.